Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Good Thursday morning, friends. We're coming up on 743, and of course, we're still tracking Zeta. Zeta is a tropical storm as it accelerates to the northeast toward the Carolinas, going to bring pretty big impacts along the east coast into the mid-Atlantic, into the northeast as well, going to bring some, all that energy and all that moisture is going to bring some snow showers up to the northeast as well. Meanwhile, back to our west, you can still see that upper level low spinning, so that deep trough and that cold front that helped drive Zeta to the northeast. You can see that at least the upper level low is to our west. The cold front now to our east. It passed through just this morning and it's reflecting that across the deep south. 50 degrees here in the capital city and it's bright and sunny. So we saw the clearing. That cool dry air is now in place. West wind at 10 miles per hour and you can see again 40s low and mid 40s around the area. New roads 46, Baton Rouge 50, Hammond 54, uh, Kentwood 50. 51 New Orleans checking in at 59 degrees. Now today not going to warm up much. We'll see a high. Uh, well, we already hit our high this morning. That was early, but we'll warm right back on up into the mid 60s through the day and temperatures will be in the 60s for a good chunk of the day, but it's going to take a little while to get there. So at least we'll see some sunshine, but that persistent west wind is going to help things uh, or not going to help it much when it comes to warming up today. So even though we are going to see sunshine will warm up, but it's not going to be all too much. Thanks to this persistent wind out of the west, eventually shifting out of the northwest. And again, today we could see a few passing clouds into late tonight because of that upper level low spinning. It could bring some wraparound moisture, but not expecting rain with it. As for Friday, going to see mainly clear skies and then a northeast wind on Saturday, and it's going to be fantastic for Halloween. As for your Friday planner, it's going to be a perfect fall day and cool. Temperatures will be in the 60s, so cool and crisp. We'll see some morning clouds. They will clear out, and then we'll see sunshine. As for Halloween, trick-or-treat time in the 60s, daytime highs in the lower 70s. Some may only warm into the upper 60s. Nighttime, if you're going to be out late, temperatures will be in the 50s. Also, there's a full moon on Halloween, so it's going to be the second full moon of the month, so it is going to be a blue moon. It's not going to be blue, but still nice and spooky for Halloween. Very festive, if you will. As we head through the day on Saturday, Halloween, starting off the day in the 40s, warming up to right around 72, right around 3 o'clock, then 6 o'clock in the mid 60s. So again, trick or treat time between 6 and 8 o'clock. It will be in the 60s, then 50s. As for Sunday, keep in mind daylight saving comes to an end Sunday morning. We get the extra hour of sleep, but then our sunset time is going to be right around 512 on Sunday. And temperatures will be a little warmer on Sunday in the mid 70s. But a cold front's going to move through during the day on Sunday, passes through by Monday, and so Monday's temperatures are only going to be in the mid 60s. Overnight temperatures, the model guidance are, uh, is showing a, a good portion of the area, maybe waking up into the upper 30s, lower 40s. Still a little early to talk uh, specific details, but it's looking more promising. As for next week, temperatures should start to regulate back into the mid 70s, which would put us near seasonal. This time of year, we should be right around 76. So below average today, clearing skies, we already did that. So now we'll see cool and crisp conditions, plenty of sunshine, even as we head through the weekend. There's that one cold front I was telling you about 65 on Monday. Then on election day, looking good. You just may need the coats when you head to the polls early. And then again, mid 70s as we head into Wednesday. Let's get a quick check on the.